half truth but uh, hmm. yes when a high profile uh, figure gets into this kind of accident hmm. naturally the debate rages on hmm. and it dies down in the next 2 3 days or so which is a very unfortunate it is vip culture in india now it is yet to come out uh, in a factual this thing whether monday's car was at driver was at fault or whether that indica driver was at fault if you also look at it in terms of the legal framework which is where uh, a lot of the work we come from now uh, we don't have a legal framework for road safety at the moment we everything we look at is from a motorized transport perspective um, you know this entire system of licensing which is also connected to driver training in india we don't train drivers at all not at all it's almost negligible all of us actually we should start thinking of road safety right now exactly. if we talk about the Perfect. political setup hmm. road safety bill hmm. which is lying pending in the parliament for so long yeah, the first thing they should be not doing is they should clear that bill see we are still lacking hmm. in we are still i think following the primitive rules of traffic exactly. in india because okay. if we see our you know like 50 years 40 years we have grown up in in terms of traffic but our rules our red lights are the same the way which we had in like 40s or 50s or 60s design your road and system in such a way that it ensures that human behavior on the roads is in a particular way it's more of a design issue if the road was designed such a manner that he couldn't have jumped the red light exactly that couldn't have happened but in night everyone thinks you know it's it's my road now hmm. you know hmm. till till, yes. uh, till till morning you know it's it's my road hmm. so can you believe it on a stretch of 291 kilometers on national highway 1 there are 185 liquor shops yeah and that means if you are driving at an average speed of 90 km per hour every minute you are offered a drink right on the road what do we do to prevent an accident and therefore i think the focus should be on the drivers their education their physical fitness monday's hmm. death should actually anger the country and the citizens should actually come forward to do whatever best they can do to stop or bring down the number of accidents right. there is no way we can we can allow people to die like this